Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to sync your old Android device to your new Apple device. Uh, first thing you're going to do, this is the old phone, Samsung device. Uh, what you need to do is go to move to iOS. This is in the Google App Store. And so what you need to just go ahead and download it and then open it up. So this will just give you a little bit of instructions. Hit continue and agree. So now you're ready with your Samsung device or Android device. Um, this just happens to be a Samsung. Here on your iPhone, you're going to be in the setup screen. And uh, I've already got a passcode. Not like this is going to matter that you can see it or not anyway. Uh, English, United States. Um, we already have a network set up. Uh, this phone, what I did, I already had the phone set up, but because I didn't have a good way to sync uh, her old contacts over to the iPhone, I went ahead and pretended like I had to reset it, uh, reset the phone, so I went into the settings, went to reset, and then deleted everything, and I'm setting it up like a new phone. But you see that I still have some Wi-Fi um, settings from a few minutes ago when I was playing around with it. So now on this apps and data screen, what you're going to do is you can see the uh, move data from Android button. So you'll hit that and you'll see that this says move from Android iOS and that's the same app as the one that's over there running on the Android device. So hit continue and this will give you a number. So over here, hit next and you're going to put in this number over here. So for today, one, four, three, four, seven, two. And that should take here in a second. All right, after that wait, you will see here that on the Android side, you'll get the options to transfer data. Um, you just select which ones they should start all selected and you just tap them to deselect them. Um, but you get the options for Google account, bookmarks, messages, contacts, calendar, and camera roll. You can see I've only selected these three here um, for my needs for today. So once that's done, I'll just hit the next. There we go. And it will start transferring. All right, here we are. It says transfer complete here and transfer complete here. So I'll hit done on this screen. And it should be, should no longer need this phone. And then we have here, uh, back on the iPhone, continue setting up iPhone. And now you'll go in and set finish setting up the iPhone like you would normally. All right, at the end of the setup process, you'll see this. Uh, if you had free apps over here, and they're also in the Apple Store, it'll download them and put them on your home screen for you. Um, and if they're paid, then it'll go into your wish list so you can go rebuy them in the Apple Store. All right, at this point, everything that used to be on your old device, at least everything that you selected, should now be transferred to your new iPhone. And if you want to double check, especially with your contacts, uh, if you want to go into your phone and then contacts list, sort by first name or sort by last name, just make sure you're comparing apples to apples and then scroll through side by side on the old and the new phones just to make sure you caught everything. Um, you might want to go ahead and do that. I, I just did that with my wife's phone. She got about 400 contacts and it looks like they all came over uh, perfectly. So it should be, uh, her new phone should be all ready to go. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. My only complaint is how much time it takes and how slow the process is, but it looks like it does the job, and uh, I haven't really found many other, um, at least in my quick search before I did this method, it didn't seem like there were too many other options that did it properly, and this is using Apple's platform, their app, and their setup procedure. So if you've got any other questions, feel free to comment below. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you very much, guys.